The Leopards make it a winning streak as Lafayette wins over East Carolina by 11 to 9 score. I'm Adam Dubrovsky. We'll be joined by our player of the game momentarily, but first with head coach Allison Fisher. Now, coach, this is a first year program in East Carolina. Sometimes we don't know what to expect on the broadcasting side. What did you expect and overall how do you think the team adapted to what a first year program brought? Um, well, I think we were we were definitely um, surprised by their ability to adapt um, to our game plan, um, which, you know, with with a young team in I mean in East Carolina, like you, you're never quite sure if you take away their, you know, their strengths and you really are looking to um, you know, put, you know, different players in different roles or, you know, ask them to execute in a different way. You know, you hope that it plays to your favor. And I thought that East Carolina handled, um, especially our defensive game plan, really well. Offensively, you had consistent success from the free position, but today only one of eight. So Emma Novick comes up big, five goals. She was able to get a lot of that done just on the carry. Just talk about what she yeah. did with her quickness. Yeah. So um, obviously, we're always looking to set Emma up in positions that she can be successful. And I think one thing that you know she's done really well this year is is taking what she wants versus what the defense is trying to force. I think that she's grown in that way to know that she's capable of really forcing um, the defense to to follow her lead as opposed to vice versa. I think in years past. Um, you know, when they'd be standing in the lane that she wanted, she'd sometimes concede. But now that she definitely has the confidence to know whether she's tightly marked or being forced one way or the other, that she just has to work that defender long enough until she can break free and get what she what she wants out of out of our offenses. So I think that was definitely you know evident today in terms of you know her coming up with some big goals at, at key points in the game to keep the lead in our favor. Well, coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. And speaking of Emma Novick, our player of the game, anything that you can add from what Coach said from your perspective in terms of how you've really grown as a player from freshman to sophomore, now junior year? You've scored in every game you've played so far, but it seems like that confidence has really increased over the years. Yeah, it's about knowing my role in the offense. I know other people's strengths, and that helps me play better. Um, I think I'm more confident in my speed and my ability to get around people, even if they block off my right hand. And I think that I'm better at forcing them to take me one way and then going the other way. And that has really improved over my three years on campus. Now you had about four games in around a week and a half. You have until Saturday to prep for St. Bonaventure. What's going to be the biggest key for you uh, to get prepped for that game? I think just communicating through this. I mean, we played decently today. I know we can play better and just working out the little things, transition, never like having letting them go on a run, being organized right from the whistle. like. Things like that, the little things we need to really improve on. And I think this week will really help us do that. Well, best wishes moving Thank forward you. and keep up the good work. Thank you. So after the five goals from Emma Novick and the win for the Leopards, two and three on the season, they have a chance to get to 500 Saturday against Saints Bonaventure. And that'll be a 1 p.m. start time on the Patriot League Network. For the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Adam Dobrofalski.